What's up everybody, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I want to talk to you about how to apply animation presets in Adobe After Effects. So animation presets can come in handy in a variety of different scenarios. New After Effects users can use presets to learn their way around the program and introduce themselves to the world of animation, while professional motion graphic artists can use presets to brainstorm ideas and even kickstart an animation project. So whatever your situation or scenario or skill level, let's check out what Adobe After Effects has to offer and how you can apply these animation presets. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using animation presets in Adobe After Effects to help me create a short image slideshow. Let's take this step by step. So I have four images here. I'm going to select all four of these images and drag them into our sequence here. Now they'll come in layered one on top of another. Now to apply an animation preset, the first thing I need to do is select a layer. I'm going to go ahead and select photo number one. Next I'll go up to animation, browse presets. After I click Browse Presets, After Effects is going to launch Adobe Bridge. Now that I'm in Adobe Bridge, I can see all of my library of animation presets here. Now you'll see there's a plethora of options here, and I have all these subfolders. So I, have, I can actually create a variety of different transitions. I can apply, uh, there's actually quite a few text animation presets. Now if I click on any of these, if you click on any animation preset, single click, it's going to bring up an animation preview here so you can see exactly what the preset will do. Now I can go back to my presets root folder here and again there's a variety of different options. We have animation presets that you can apply to text, there's sound effects, we can even create synthetic things such as these background animated backgrounds and different shape effects and different elements which will be applied to simple solid layers. But what we want is some transitions for our slideshow. So let's go over here into Transitions Movement. We can look through here. Let's take a look at Slide Drop. And it gives us a quick, again, a quick preview of what the animation looks like. So let's say we want to do this for our slideshow. This is the animation or transition we want in between our images. So to apply this animation preset, I simply need to double click. And once I double click, it will bring me back into After Effects and the animation preset has been applied. And if we look in the Effect Controls panel, we can see the effect here. And if I select my layer in the Sequence panel and use the keyboard shortcut U, it will bring up all of my keyframes. And you can look over here, here is my animation preset. Now if I grab my playhead, we can see that the photo drops in, does a slide drop from the top. So now how can I apply this animation preset to all the photos? Well, to quickly do this, I will grab my remaining three photos. I can go to animation and I can do recent animation presets and I can select slide drop. And now this effect has applied to all three of these layers. I still have the layers selected. Actually, let me select them all three and grab and select U, press the keyboard shortcut U. And if you notice, it pastes the effect it starts it right at the current time indicator to start it off. So now all we need to do for our final touches for our slideshow is to retime these. And we want the first one to drop in from the bottom. So photo four is actually going to be our first photograph that comes in. Actually, we don't even need it to drop in. We want it to already be in. So we're not we're gonna leave the animation off of our first photograph. And then we're gonna retime the rest of them. So the first one we want to do is photo 3, which it's already in a good position. So now we'll take the keyframes of photo 2, we'll move it over, take the keyframes of photo 4, move it over, and there we go. Now we should have a quick slideshow. And these photos are a little big, so I'm going to quickly select all these and lower the scale. There we go. Now I can press U again to close these all. Take it back the beginning. Now let's have a quick look. So there we go. In a very short period of time we've applied some animation presets and now we have a quick photo slideshow. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.